Hey guys, yours truly Kevin Grace. I am here in Windsor Mill, Maryland at King Memorial Park Cemetery, paying my respects to a great comedian that was born in Baltimore on September 3rd, 1921. That comedian, Slappy White. He was born as Melvin White, and he started his career, I guess, dancing for pennies in the streets. And uh, Later, he wound up just doing comedy. He was known for his self-deprecating brand of humor, uh, where he would make fun of himself. Uh, he would tell jokes like, uh, my landlord said he would raise the rent. I said, great, because I definitely can't. But you would see him featured on those comedy roasts back in the 60s and 70s with Dean Martin. He was the MC for a lot of those. And actually, back in the day, he and Red Fox were a comedy team. And they wound up splitting up and Red went on to probably a bigger career, I would say, having his television show, Sanford and Son. And uh, later he did have uh, Slappy on uh, guest starring as one of his friends. And I think he played actually his name, Melvin, <laughs> was his... Uh, character's name on on his show but uh, anyway he passed away from a heart attack at age 74 in 1995 and at one time he was married to believe it or not pearl bailey and uh also um, singer laverne baker but uh slappy had some interesting uh uh career i would say uh matter of fact i think even Jerry Seinfeld was close with him and had named one of his characters uh, Slappy White or through his name in one of the skits. But I'll try to post some of the video of some of those skits and uh, some of him doing different stand-ups in Las Vegas. He was a very uh, highly paid stand-up comedian back in the 60s and 70s in Las Vegas. But anyway, he's cremated and he is buried right here. Um, if you come inside the Memorial Park and you see the bust of Dr. Martin Luther King, there's a uh, area here for different niches and he's buried right here. And it says, in loving memory of Slappy, Melvin White. And then, of course, you see the theatrical mask. So he was born... Um, September 27th, 1921, and uh, passed away November the 7th, 1995. So, uh, anyway, if you like this video, please subscribe down below, and feel free to leave any comments about the great Slappy White. Fortunate to be talking tonight to Mr. Slappy White, candidate for the Vice President of the United States. Slappy, if you're elected Vice President, what will be your first objective? Statehood for Harlem. <laughs> Slappy, do you think a black Vice President would hurt President Nixon? Not any more than the white one he's got now. <laughs> You've said a black Vice President will improve relations with unfriendly powers. Which ones? The NAACP, Core, and Nipsey Russell. <laughs> What's the biggest problem for you as a black man with the second spot on the ticket? Finding a white man for the first spot on the ticket. But enough about Senator Muskie. <laughs> Slappy White, do you think being vice president would change you any? No, I'd be the same guy riding around in the Cadillac out on own. <laughs> The only, the only show business personality I've actually got to meet and say, you know, I, 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 I once carried your bet was Slappy White. Ah. <laughs> oh, I, 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 I broke Slappy White's golf clubs uh -huh. when I was... Slappy White is a comedian in Vegas. He's a legendary right. show business figure. I was incredibly excited to take his huge suitcase 
for him and carry it over to the trunk of his matador or whatever it is and try, <laughs> and try to put it in. Now, Slappy, Slappy yells everything. Uh -huh. And he did to me, take my suitcase over to my car! <laughs> the keys I took the keys over and I lifted up the drink put it in a sack and put it in a trunk of my car <laughs> so this huge massive suitcase and I popped the trunk on his thing and it's and it's and it's loaded the trunk is filled it's got his golf clubs it's got all kinds of stuff and I lift up this huge suitcase and like you know, like you know counter lever it over and it lands with a thud and and I'm trying to push the trunk of his car closed and I know that I put his suitcase on top of his golf clubs. Right. And it was, it was, I mean, he must have had 400 golf clubs in this golf club. <laughs> Every conceivable golf club tool was in this, and I'm pushing it down like this. And from all across the parking lot of here, you are bending the shaft! <laughs> Stop bending the shaft! <laughs> and I swear, Slappy White came running about 400 yards like this. <laughs> you are bending the shaft! <laughs> So I, I have met, I met Slappy White at the uh, at the uh, at the Academy Awards, and, and I, I apologized for for breaking his golf it, club. It couldn't so many be years a ago. more flattering characterization. <laughs> uh, Tom, uh, it's a distinctive delivery. This the, Slappy. The big